Open-handed he gives to the poor. His justice stands firm forever. His might shall be exalted in glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant your church, we pray, Almighty God, that she may have St. Stephen of Hungary, who fostered her growth while a king on earth, as her glorious defender in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, say to the prince of Tyre, Thus says the Lord God, Because you are haughty of heart, you say, A God am I. I occupy a godly throne in the heart of the sea. And yet you are a man and not a God, however you may think yourself like a God. Oh yes, you are wiser than Daniel, There is no secret that is beyond you. By your wisdom and your intelligence, you have made riches for yourself. You have put gold and silver into your treasuries. By your great wisdom applied to your trading, you have heaped up your riches. Your heart has grown haughty from your riches. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Because you have thought yourself to have the mind of a god, therefore I will bring against you foreigners, the most barbarous of nations. They shall draw their swords against your beauteous wisdom. They shall run them through your splendid apparel. They shall thrust you down to the pit, there to die a bloodied corpse in the heart of the sea. When you will say, when you then say, I am a God, when you face your murderers, no, you are a man, not a God, handed over to those who will slay you. You shall die the death of the uncircumcised at the hands of foreigners, for I have spoken, says the Lord God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is I who deal death and give life. It is is I I who deal deal death death and give give life. life. I would have said, I will make an end of them and blot out their names from men's memories. Had I not feared the insolence of their enemies, feared that those foes would mistakenly boast. It is I who who deal deal death death and and give give life. life. Our own hand won the victory. The Lord had nothing to do with it, for they are a people devoid of reason, having no understanding. It is I who who deal death death and and give give life. life. How could one man rout a thousand, or two men put ten thousand to flight, unless it was because their rock sold them and the Lord delivered them up? It is I who deal deal death death and give give life. life. Close at hand is the day of their disaster, and their doom is rushing upon them. Surely the Lord shall do justice for his people. On his servants he shall have pity. It is I I who who deal deal death death and and give give life. life.
Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus Christ became poor, although he was rich, so that by his poverty you might become rich. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, I say to you, it will be hard for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and said, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For men, this is impossible, but for God, all things are possible. Then Peter said to him in reply, We have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you that you who have followed me in the new age, when the Son of Man is seated on his throne of glory, will yourselves sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up houses, or brothers, or sisters, or father, or mother, or children, or lands, for the sake of my name, will receive a hundred times more, and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. No secret today what the readings are all about, all about the, the difficulty that comes with being blessed abundantly with earth's goods or being in favor on earth and therefore acquiring riches. Uh, today we see also an example of somebody who actually handled riches very well in his life, Saint Stephen of Hungary, who was the king of Hungary, was crowned the king in the year 1000, and spent his life the next 38 years uh, enacting laws and uh, giving out alms to the poor in a way to build up his kingdom and the society that he lived in to be more uh, God-fearing or more, more aware of, of the role that God plays in their lives and the role that God plays in society. So it's not necessarily that we can't have riches, um, but it's, in some sense it, it'll be really difficult as we hear camel through the eye of a needle. Um, we think that sometimes, uh, I was going to make a Chiefs reference, but then I thought I'd be like Father Klein, and I'm just like, I don't, I don't know if I can do this. When you see a good football pass, and it's like, how did you get that through the defenders? It's like, well, if you think you can do that, how can you get a camel through the eye of a needle? Uh, anyways, it just, I can't even think right now. Um, but so anyway, riches, hard to deal with, but you can do it well. So just be like Jesus, who was the king of everything, king of the universe, came down super poor, lived among us, uh, and showed us the example. Amen. And today's Mass is being offered for Bill von Restorf, the repose of the soul of Bill von Restorf.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Through the present oblation, O Lord, which we offer in commemoration of blessed Stephen, bestow on your faithful, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior, Savior of the world. world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given you besides, says the Lord.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, in commemoration of blessed Stephen, sanctify our minds and hearts that we may merit to be made sharers in the divine nature. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.